So here's the next one I'm going to uh, try and work on here. It's a Bolens, a 21 inch, with the 500 series Briggs and Stratton on it. Uh, it's like it's missing a few things, like that spring that's supposed to go right there. I gotta look under here. May of April 2012 is when this engine was manufactured, so about five years old. Um, I don't know how fortunate I'm gonna be with this one. I will show y'all. You know, let's take the oil first. If I can get it off, I will show y'all. I'm pretty sure this thing's got a bent shaft on it. That's what the guy told me. Um, my question is how badly bent and is it vibrate you know you vibrating your arms and stuff off or is it just been bent, bent but still usable sorry about that I keep the string around my neck to hold the hold everything in place it does have oil in it so uh, it's got gas in it the air filter I'm sure is decent just have to clean it off a little bit but it's still in decent shape otherwise we'll feed that back in a little bit um, here I'll put the mower on its side gotta find a bolt to put on this just to keep it in place I got plenty of things that'll work for that but let me toss it on its side here I'll show you what I'm talking about with the uh, the bench shaft. As you can see, that's pretty bad. So I just want to start it up and see how bad it is. Um, just by looking at it, it looks like it is way too bent for me to for me to try and start or for me to try and use like it is. but the blade's not really bent on it which is kind of interesting um so i'll take it down there and we'll start it up and see uh see how bad it shakes if it shakes at all um pretty sure this one's going to be shaking pretty good so I'll put a bolt into that handle first and then i'll take it down there and start her up so if this thing even runs i'm pretty sure it's going to vibrate the mess out of me or out of the handle, out of the mower, but hey, I don't, I don't even have the strap because I don't really have very high confidence that this thing is going to be worth saving the shaft on, but I could be wrong. I doubt that I am, but Well, the problem is, y'all saw the spring, is running wide open. Uh, and it is vibrating some. Now, if I get it to run at the proper speed, it might not vibrate as much, and it might be tolerable. Um, so, I'll find out, I guess. But, like I said, I don't really have high hopes. It does run, though, as you can see. Um, but it's running wide open. So, let, let me um, work on adjusting the throttle and stuff on it. I'll see if I can get it to run a good speed and see how much it vibrates when it's not running wide open like that. So... Let me get to work on that. So before I took off this gas tank to find a spring and stuff, I wanted to show you how creative people can be in uh, keeping mowers running when they're missing parts on them. And I haven't changed this or anything, but all they did was wedge this throttle cable into the intake tube here so that it didn't go anywhere. And that worked. If you wanted your mower to run wide open, uh, 
that's obviously not the way that it's supposed to be. I um, want to get this thing as right as I can. So, pull it out and take the tank off so I can put that up through there. I've got the second hole for the spring to hook onto there. I'll look and see what type of springs I have. Hopefully get either the correct one or one that is close to the correct one for it. And get it running at least at the correct speed to see how bad it vibrates. Because um, I, could, I could sell it just to disclose, hey, it runs, cuts, but the shaft's a little bent and it's going to vibrate some. People don't care how their mowers, how bad they vibrate or whatever, as long as they cut grass and they're cheap. So either way, I'll be getting getting something out of this. Uh, so let me take the gas tank off, find a spring, put it on, see what we got. Well, here is surprise number two with this. Uh, as you can see, the intake tube is cracked on it and broke off. Good news is, I keep as many of these as I can. So I have that covered. Um, so I just need to go a little bit further, take the, uh, take the cover off here. And, uh, the, you know, the three, three eighths inch bolts. Then you got the five sixteenth inch bolts, for, or excuse me, the quarter inch bolts. Um, that hold on the broken tube. I'll show you all the other part of the broken tube when I get the cover off here. Alright, so the cover's off. I'll show you all the other part of the tube that where it was broken. Kind of is a wonder that the thing even ran. Um, so, got the new tube right here. Well, from another mower, but same exact fit. So I've had plenty of these that have come in that have been blown up, so I just can or just take as many parts off of them as I can because I know that they come in handy like right now um, so two quarter inch bolts will get that off I'll slide the new tube on whatever way it'll go on there and put the put the uh, quarter inch bolts back in and we'll be in business so I got the new tube on here it was pretty easy I ended up taking the coil off too um, you can gap the coil if you want to. Um, it's simple. You can put a business card or whatever in between the, the coil and the flywheel. Or if you've done it like me a thousand times, <laughs> you just kind of put it about where you think it needs to be. And it's usually good. Um, where the rust has kind of come up on this coil. Um, I mean, you know it ran before. So, you know, you just put the coil back right where the bolt heads marks are on the coil and you're usually in good shape um, instead of going through the whole gap and procedure and stuff like that um, never a bad practice to gap them though uh, but i want to show you all i have like call it i guess the box of goodies here a bunch of car parts and odd and end mess that have come off of carburetors and exhaust and things like that um, air filter covers so keep a bunch of springs in there as you can see i've got some of the carburetor filter screens because i actually had to put one on one more um but i have a couple of these in here and those are the springs i'm looking for for this that was missing um or at least they are ones that will fit this so i i'm at the point now where i can put the carburetor back on and uh, and the gas tank and put this back together get everything right see how see how bad it vibrates when it is running properly um, so that's kind of where I'm at the point so I'll put everything back on and we'll uh, give her another test all right so y'all see I got everything back on I got the spring back on I actually had to drill um, a little bit bigger hole in the for this rod to connect, throttle to connect to the uh, carburetor, which was interesting. Um, so I don't know if it's the right carburetor on or what, but I had two holes for it like it, it's supposed to for the spring. So it's just kind of strange. Um, so I'm going to see how bad it vibrates now. Um, hopefully it's not too, too bad. 
But if it is, then I just have to I'll have to figure something out. saw it vibrate there too um, like I said it does vibrate some it is still usable barely <laughs> so I'm gonna fiddle around a little bit see if I can get it to not really vibrate as much it's probably gonna be hard to do um, but I'll, uh, I'll just kind of look at this thing and see what I might be able to do with it. Um, positive note, like I said, it does run, uh, if that is anything. And I got a nice deck, so let me work on it a little bit and see what I might could muster. So after running this one a little bit more, I've just decided that it's too far gone to fix. Um, it's smoking, and I mean, it runs and all that good stuff, but it's smoking pretty good and it sounds like we've got some internal damage um so i've got this mower here that i got on trade i don't know how good the engine is on it i do know that it has compression uh and so what i'll do and of course you can see this thing is beat all to pieces and it's a it's a 2012 um the deck is actually in okay shape I can save the deck for another day because um, I'll put this engine on that on the big wheel bowl ones here um, but I mean I've got a broken intake tube on this one also and a bunch of other odd and end things like the gas tanks busted on it and the pull rope the pull rope mechanism is bad on it somebody took the rivets off of it so we need a bunch of parts so the most logical thing and the fastest thing to do here is to just put this engine onto that deck since that engine is not really to be desired in its current state uh so this is actually that's actually what i'm gonna do next uh, i'm gonna swap the motors off again it's just three engine bolts that take them take each of the engines off make sure that your safety cables are disconnected when you whenever you do it um and yeah and apart from that you take the blade off it's pretty simple so let me uh 
Let me actually do that, take the engines off, and uh, go ahead and swap them over. So before I do, do go full on into breaking this mower apart, or breaking this engine apart, I do want to try one thing, and I just was suspicious since I knew that it hit kind of hard. Um, I'm going to try this flywheel key because as you can see, it's just barely, barely, barely sheared. Um, and I doubt that it'll cause all the smoking and stuff problems that I have with it, but it's something that I do want to try before... I write this engine off, so I'm gonna put a flywheel key on it, in it, on it. Either way, um, just to see if by some miracle that uh, that does anything. So as you can see, I've put everything on this red Murray here instead of swapping the engines out. A um, couple, well, one main reason, and I guess the smaller reason. The smaller reason is. The value of that mower and the value of this mower isn't really much different. Like, this mower would probably be a $60 mower for me. The big wheel one over there might be an $80 mower. Um, I'm just going to wait on a motor for that one. Because I, I wanted to do the, the quick and easy way versus the really difficult way. Um, I'll sharpen the blade on it and everything now. But I'll turn it on its side. What I... What happened is, these, even though this mower is only about five years old, the bolts were kind of rusted on it. For the, uh, as you can see, the deck had a lot of grass under it. I've cleaned out some of that. Um, the mounting, the three mounting bolts, they were pretty rusted. And when I was turning them, I, I was turning the head a little bit, but I wasn't seeing the, the other end here turn. And I just didn't want to strip the bolts getting it off the deck since this deck is in decent shape. And uh, so because that involves having to drill out the holes and tap them and all that good stuff I wasn't it wasn't worth twenty dollars extra just to do that so I put it on this deck I'm gonna get everything on it put some oil in it I have decently high confidence that this mower will run I just think whoever had it just beat it to death and got really frustrated with it I put the put the intake tube on it I just put everything basically to put everything on it that was on the other mower onto this mower <clears throat> I'm going to break down that other mower over there just so I have a, uh, a, a decent or just so I've got a bunch of parts because I get a bunch of these type motors in. So the only other thing I saw the spark plug wire had a, had a tear in the rubber but it didn't get down to the point where it was ground or where I could see the wire itself on it. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to take it down the, down there and see if we can start it up. All right, so fingers crossed we've got a good engine here. Let me uh, pull it and uh, see if it'll start. Well, it runs. Um, I will. Got to adjust the spring on it a little bit. I might actually put it out to the further one of these holes. See if I can get some more spring action on it because it's running a little, a little slow. So probably need two hands to do this. But so I. I'll uh, I'll do this off camera. I'll put it I'll put it out here maybe to get it a little bit more stretched out because as you can see I've already got it out pretty far here, um, and hopefully we'll have a good runner. All right, now we're running much better. So maybe just a little bit on the slow side, but. Pretty good though, which is good. 
good. I might try and speed it up just a touch more than it is. But, uh, I do that and I'll clean it up. So it cleaned up pretty nicely here. Um, I did bend the spring a little bit more. Um, not this portion, but like internally, just to see if I can get it running just a touch faster. Um, but apart from that, it is good. I mean, this is pretty standard for all the Murrays of this age. After a few years, the handle's going to be a little worn on it. But still, with it being kind of a newer mower, I still get about $60 for it. And it being a 22 inches a plus. think it's out of gas but I will have to I'll put gas in it and we'll give it a start Thank you. 